FSD, but this is a bang bang. Oh, you've got a quote yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah, Minus uh, 57 at the deck, yeah. which is which is set off the I think. Is that one patch written? Oh. <laughs> oh, don't say that. <laughs> 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 Neil Wynne, VIP TV, down at uh, VIP's offices at the Wee for tomorrow night's fight with Ryan Doyle and Ian Bailey. Ryan, how you doing, mate? Yeah, good, Lee, yourself? Yeah, mate, well. Yeah, training's going well. Uh, as you can see, I'm bang on weight. Uh, body's in top condition, I'm ready to go. Well, you'll see the photos later on, mate. Uh, fine, fine condition, mate. But, Ian Bailey has been your nemesis. 22 months it is since he, uh, he got the win over you. And uh, it hurt you, that, didn't it, mate? Yeah, it definitely did. Like I say, um, he uh, took me on the feed record, and, um, and, uh, and you've been on the feed for about seven years as amateur. Seven years prior, yeah. And uh, like I said, he took it. He's a great fighter. I think, like I said, take me out to him, Bailey. I can't call him in any way, shape, or form. I think he's a great fighter. I think right. what he does, he does well. I just looked at his record. And he's fought the who's who, yeah. British boxer, Carl Frampton, Josh Warrington, you know, uh, Ryan Walsh. He's fighting some of the top kids and, he's, and if you look through his record, the top kids haven't knocked him out. They might be, mm. they haven't knocked him out. No. Um, and probably that's where I went wrong with me last time I thought him. I was wanted to be the one who knocked him out. Mm -hmm. I was um, obviously very inexperienced at the time. I feel like I've grown to fight now. I'm a lot bigger the way um, I've trained right. And you know what I mean, there's no excuses for the last fight. I can't really, you know, fault it. I've got my my reasons why I think I lost my fight, why I think I lost the fight. Um, and now I've had a full camp, he's had a full camp and it's up to me. Well that's what you said, because he's complained a few times that he's not had a full camp to get ready for some of these fights where he's lost by one point or two points. Uh, against good, good quality lines. As I say, he's a bit of a gatekeeper for you know the the, the British title and English title levels. You know, he, he's like you've got to beat him before you could go yes, for the British. To progress, and like I say, he really is a top top fighter. Like he's given some of these top kids in the country a good run for the money, mm -hmm. maybe a week's two weeks notice. I give him a full eight weeks, um, and I believe that's fair. And, he, and he's fresh as well, yeah. you know. I mean, he's fresh as <coughs> the time on he's, he's had a comeback win. You know what I mean? He's strong, he's durable, he's ready. I tell you, I said the guy, I think he's a great fighter. Do you know what I mean? He's got a lot of bottles come back down to Manchester. Like mm -hmm. Last time was in Liverpool, and fought, man. now he's in Manchester, in my hometown. And this is my a great home. venue for you. It's a great venue. I mean, I mean got a little bottle just for you. What, what is that? Your um, I think you've had your four fights since you fought in, and you've had three st three stoppages, all coming at Victoria Warehouse where you're taking him on. Yeah, that's it. It's bad side, isn't it? Yeah, well, listen, it gets me excited, you know. And this is going to be a cracking fight, and if anyone can't get down there at Victoria Warehouse, you can watch it on VIP, and, and it, it, this is one to watch, because however long it lasts, whether it goes a full distance or whether, it, you know, it, it's going to be a war, isn't it's it? It's going to be a great fight during the day, like I said. I'd give Ian Bailey eight weeks notice because that's what he needs for a fight. Every fighter needs a full eight week camp to get into their best ability. I mean, there's no, I've left no stone unturned. I believe Ian Bailey. You don't want any excuse to do it. No, right? no excuse for my behalf. And I say, like, now, really, yeah. I've done everything right. What I can do, I can do. There's nothing more I, I could have done. And I believe Ian Bailey is exactly the same. So on the night, best man win and that'll be that. Well hopefully I'll be chatting to you with a win behind your name and uh, your career can then move forward mate. Hopefully a bit of luck. I'm excited to train now. I've done well. Ready to go. Ryan, take care mate. I'll see you tomorrow night. Cheers, thanks for Bye.